Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Saturday the 25th of November, the local media headlines today. The Falmouth Packet tells us that the Court of Appeal has dismissed an appeal against the murder conviction of Trewen Kevin, who's serving a life sentence for killing a 72-year-old man at a disused copper mine at Bisso. The body of David Alderson, who was 72, was found in a pool of water in 2014. Cornwall Reports reflects on that row earlier this year over whether or not Cornwall should have entered a beauty contest to become the European Union's capital of culture. It now turns out that the competition is for members only and that if we had entered it would have been a complete waste of money. Cornwall Reports also looks at another Brexit related story where a former top diplomat warns the agriculture sector to expect a long and messy transition period after we leave the European Union. Radio Cornwall's top story today is a warning about getting into debt at Christmas. The station says Citizens Advice expects a spike in statistics at this time of year. Cornwall Live reported the suspended prison sentence imposed on a masseur who used to work at a hotel near Newquay. He admitted indecently assaulting a client during a full body massage. The Buden Stratton Post covers the award of a £12,000 energy grant to help install high power batteries to a co-housing community at St Guinness. The Cornish Times looks forward to the final livestock auction at Liscard's cattle market next month. The site is earmarked for redevelopment. The Cornish and Devon Post says that charity Christmas cards are now on sale at Launceston's Central Methodist Church. And finally, Pirate FM warns us to get ready for cold weather, saying that road gritting lorries will be out across Cornwall tomorrow. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.